Yes, the drug is called Trikafta and it is used by only a handful of Kiwis here who face death from cystic fibrosis. Now, that includes Bella Powell. Now, we introduced you to her six months ago when she started on it. And tonight, we can show you how these little blue and orange pills have truly changed her life. But red tape is holding up access, and News Hub can reveal this has forced New Zealand's drug buying agency, Pharmac, to take the highly unusual step of calling out the American company that makes it. For Bella Powell, life has really gone full circle. Yeah, look at that. That makes me so happy. Well, look at that. She's super happy because she has been given a chance to live. Age 17, just six months ago, she was facing death. I was looking at not making Christmas and now I'm starting my year 13. You would not know it, but Bella has cystic fibrosis. Her health was so bad she could barely get out of bed. Now she is doing acrobatics, all thanks to a drug called Trikafta. I would give my left arm to stay on it. Like It's something that has just completely changed my life and there's no other way to put it. Like It's been a miracle. Until now, cystic fibrosis was effectively a death sentence. Those with it don't usually live past 40 and often die as teenagers like Bella was expected to. It causes the body to make thick, sticky mucus that plugs up tubes and passageways and puts massive amounts of pressure on the lungs, wearing them out. Bella was on standby for a lung transplant, but Trikafta has cleared the mucus and changed all that. I haven't been allowed out of Auckland since I was on the transplant list, so it was cool to like leave the Auckland region for the first time in a while. That meant a classic Kiwi summer, like bungee jumping with her sisters. <laughs> just live and like do it like fully and not have to like hold back. The problem, Trikafta costs more than $430,000 a year. Six months ago, Bella was begging for it just to live. It's a pure and simple truth. This is saving my life. Sir Bob Elliott, who devoted much of his career to fighting cystic fibrosis, started Bella on a three-month supply with $100,000, paying for it out of his own pocket. I felt I couldn't allow Bella just to die knowing there was a drug out there which could help her. Every time I think about him, I start to cry. He was... Oh. Sir Bob died just weeks later without seeing these results. I just hope he's proud. I hope that he sort of can see that his gift and his miracle worked. Donations from Kiwis have ensured she has enough for this year, yet the hope was to get it funded here by drug buying agency Pharmac so it was cheap and accessible for the 530 other Kiwis with cystic fibrosis. And the push went right to Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. She had said that she had heard my story and she was following it and she again recognised the need for it. But again, like they can't make any promises as to like we're going to get your specific drug funded. The American company that makes Trikafta, Vertex, raised hopes in August last year by saying it would apply to achieve Pharmac funding in the fastest possible way. But in a heartbreaking development, six months on, Vertex has still not come through on that, stalling the process. So Bella is calling them out. You're robbing people of a life by sitting there in your big towers overseas. Pharmax Lisa Williams says without an application, it can't do anything, effectively calling Vertex out to. So what's your message to Vertex then? You know, we're really interested in this medicine. We want the application. We're really interested to assess this application. We're keenly waiting for that application to come. We're ready to look at it when you're ready to make your application to us. It's all well and good to say that this amazing cure of a treatment is out there. But if it's not getting to the people who need it, what's the point? The point is that people like Bella Powell need it to live. Let's get a wax here for a now, we spoke to Vertex and they said we recognise the frustrations of those that are still waiting. And they also revealed that they have agreed to a multi-stakeholder meeting in March with patients, doctors, Pharmac and Medsafe. So some movement with Pharmac coming out swinging for a change but it told me the application it needs is not just an email from Vertex, it's a stack of documents like this. Time is crucial. Tomorrow we will bring you another Trikafta user who warns that people will die while the company and the government argue.